As you can see in the viewport, the grooves each take up three polygons. The space in between two grooves takes up four polygons. I have chosen to work with 35 segments in my base cylinder. If you require more detail, multiply this number by any even number. If you require a lower poly count, divide this number by any even number. This obviously will not work in my case. Convert the cylinder to an editable poly so that you can edit its geometry. Use the Slice Plane tool to add edged loops. To do this, select the Slice Plane tool. Position the plane in the correct place and press the Slice button. Repeat this process for every edge loop you require. Select the Cut tool by pressing the Cut button. Cut the silhouette of one of the grooves on the geometry. Try to make it symmetrical. Move the grooves geometry into the correct position. Delete unnecessary geometry, in my case. Only one groove and two rows of polygons on each side are needed. Use the Array tool to copy the segment of the cylinder around the pivot point. Press the Preview button to preview the resulting arrays. Use the Rotation option with the right axis to get the required result. Go to Vertex Mode. Select all vertices. Click the button next to the Weld button. This will give you more options. Set the threshold so that only the vertices between the segments of the cylinder are being welded.
delete the end caps of the inner cylinders. Invert the normals of the inner cylinders. Rotate the inner cylinders to the correct angle. Cap the hole. Select the edges you want to bridge. Click the bridge button to create a polygon in between the selected edges. This looks awesome. Subscribe, rate, comment.